Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video for you on what's in my makeup bag. So I'm going to start off with my makeup bag. As you can see, very, very sparkly. This is an old makeup bag. I've had this for so long. I got it from Primark. Um, so it's obviously not going to be around now, but um, I will say that Primark always do really good cosmetics cases and they're really affordable. So get yourself down there. This is a really perfect size, but I'm going to show you what's on the top of my makeup bag. So when I open it up, the first thing that comes out is this blending sponge. Now I'm not a professional makeup artist. I don't know how to do things properly. Um, but so many people were talking about these makeup sponges and I literally, I just wanted to try it. So I, I've got it. It's still covered in my foundation. Um, I need to clean it, but I use this just because I wanted to try it. It's in the bag. Um, but I'm not sure whether I want to go back to using brushes because I, I don't know. What do you think? Um, leave it in the comments below what you use and if you have any tips on how to use these wonderful little squiddy things. Um, otherwise, yeah, let me know what you think because I think I'm going to go back to using a brush after I finish with this. So the next thing in my makeup bag is this eyeshadow palette and this is from Bourjois. So it's just um, a natural kind of browny colour. So I actually, I can use all of these. They're all really nice colours, but I generally use this one here, this dark one. And that's what I've got on my eyes at the moment. Um, but that is one of my items that I just use all the time. I love natural colours. Um, I don't really dress myself up a lot with my makeup. So. so I will move on to my foundation. Now I don't use a lot of foundation. I, I just have this little Avon colour trend one. It's, um, it's not expensive at all. I can't remember how much it is. These change so much, but they often do um, offers where you can buy two products for four pounds. And I think that's probably just what I paid for this. This is Sun Beige. It's just a squeezy one. Um, I don't know if it's the right color for me. I just, if I can put it on my skin and it just adds a bit of color to my cheeks, I'm happy. Um, just so it looks a bit more smooth. So that's what I use as a foundation at the moment, but that isn't the only foundation I use. Um, I will use whatever's going, whatever's, you know, affordable at the time. So then I have a powder foundation. Now I use this to put on the top of my uh, makeup when I'm finished and just to seal it um, and to set the makeup. Again, this is Avon. Um, this is Calming Effects Powder Foundation and it's in Sand Beige. And I really like this because you've got You've got all the, the powder at the top. Uh, I don't want to say it. I don't want it to all fall out. But um, you've got the holes so you can sieve it through um, so you don't overuse or waste any of the powder. So then my next item is my mascara. This is my favourite mascara to date. Um, it doesn't matter what I try. Um, I always want to have these amazing big, thick black lashes um, and it just never seems to happen, no matter what they say on the adverts, they don't really work. But this one is from Avon <laughs> and this is the new Mark range and this is Big and Daring Volume Mascara. So it looks like that, this is the new packaging for it. Um, mascaras from Avon are anything between sort of £6 and £12, I don't know how much this one is now. I got this when it was um, brand new and on offer, but I love it, absolutely love it. Brilliant mascara, I get lots of compliments when I wear that mascara. Lots of people tell me how nice my eyelashes look and they don't think they're real. So I'm um, really, really um, loving that right now. So for my foundation, I use this brush. Um, again, I think it's Avon, a um, little bit of a theme going on. Just a normal brush. This is what I use when I just put the powder all over my face to set my makeup. Go back to that. Okay, so the next item in my makeup bag you'll never guess where it's from it's this glimmer stick eyeliner in blackest black Avon and this is really good this is one where you just you sort of open it up and you just twist it look twist it um, and it's a creamy eyeliner I'm wearing it at the moment on my eyes um, and I really like these eyeliners they're really soft and easy to use. So I only have a few things left. Like I said, I don't um, I don't 
wear lots and lots of makeup but these two I'll show you my eyeshadow brush this was just given to me by a family member in um, Ireland so I don't know where it's from but I think it's just a cheapy brush um, but it's just perfect for my eyeshadow so it's nice and soft I use that and then this brush it's slightly slanted and this is what I use for my blush when I use blush I don't always wear it but when I do I will just use this on the uh, cheekbones and so that brings me to my last item which is the blush and it's actually Maybelline mineral power naturally illuminous blush and this is soft mauve and this again is like the foundation you've got the, the holes at the top and you can sort of sift through what you don't use but this is quite a nice pinky color just to add some color to your cheeks and so that's what I use when I when I use blush so that's it that is everything in my makeup case um like I said I don't wear a lot of makeup I don't really have a lot of makeup these are my staple items they're just the basics I will never go out the house without eyeliner on <laughs> um but I, I normally if if anything else would like to wear eyeliner a little bit of foundation and mascara so this just covers it and then of course you've just got the natural powder eyeshadows and the applicators here like the brushes